you're sitting in a comfortable chairs and everything feels nice and we've sung and had some games, you're like, well, yeah, of course, God's here. And yeah, he is. But what about those times when it feels like you're in the belly of a fish? What about those times when you're in your low spots or lower than low spots or hit bottom spots and you're like, where in the world is God in all of this? Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. That, that, that verse, I, Jonah actually lived after David. And so the stuff that David wrote down, Jonah had, and he, he read the scrolls. And I'm thinking somewhere in that fish, he remembered. He remembered that low spot of David's. And in his own low spot, he's like, oh, yeah. I re I reflected. I remembered who God is and and I refocused and I'm talking to God. But the the pit's still there. Oh what if David oh yeah, wait for the Lord. If if you're have been in a low spot and you've gotten out of it. You didn't get yourself up. God's the one that lifted you up. And if you're in a low spot right now and you're wondering why in the world I turned to God, why is that still stuff still there? Wait for the Lord. Jonah prayed that prayer where? In the belly of the fish in the bottom of the pit before anything had changed. So, I, when you're down, what do you do? Look up. If you look in or if you look around, you're just going to end up wallowing in self-pity and your spirit's going to get deeper. When you're down, look up. No matter what the down is, whether the down is literally hitting bottom, or whether the down is, well, things are just going wrong, like continually, like over and over and over again. Or whether the down is, there's this like fog of, of depression that just kind of closes in and it, it, it's like you can't find your way out of it. Or whether the, it's you got some some bad attitude, and, and, and you're like, this is making a mess of everything, and I should be rid of this, but you can't find your way out of that particular pit, or, or, or whether it's your dreams are suddenly becoming nightmares, or, or you don't make the team you want to make, or you make the team that you want to make, and you end up, your team ends up being lousy, <laughs> and, they're, and they're losing all the time. Or the friends that you thought were your friends are kind of like, well, they don't want to be your friends anymore. And that just feels cruddy. Or you know, there's as many low spots as there are people out here. The point is not identifying the low spots. The point is when you're in the pits, when you're down, do what? Look. And, and then learn from Jonah what what you do, and, and how to use that in the pit's time productively. Because looking inward ultimately leads to despair, and looking at your problems doesn't make you feel any better. But when you reflect on, oh, here's, here's an honest reflection of um, who I am and, and what I've done, and and where I've been rebelling and doing things my own way. And, and frankly, some of the times, for some of us, we're all rebelling against God 
some way, just like Jonah admitted. And, and in humility and repentance, say, God, I'm, I'm sorry. The next thing he did was remember. Remember that when God disciplines, some of you wrote this one down. When he disciplines, it's not for pain, it's for what? Progress. It's to help you learn and grow and do the right thing. And then, as you see that, you also remember something else about God. God is for you, not against you. God is for us, not against us. That even in the pits, uh, he still loves us. And, and, and as you do that, as you see that he loves us with everything that he has, that he, he reaches down with his grace to lift us out of the pit. It's like he holds his hand and he says, here I am. Step on. And let me lift you out. Jonah, when he saw all that, that's what he refocused on. He refocused on God's grace and his mercy and his love. And that's that's what this part of Jonah's story shows us. That we're in that when we're in the pits, God's not there to crush us or kill us or destroy us. He's there to help us and to heal us and to lift us out and to give us a fresh start. And by the way, that's where Jonah chapter 2 ends. He's not in the fish anymore. He's out and he has another chance. I want to invite you to come back next week as we look at chapter 3 of Jonah's memoirs and, and, and see what happens and what he does with this second chance. Now, if you're still in that pit spot, there's one more thing to remember. You do have a second chance coming, but you might have to wait for it. If you do, wait for the Lord. Be strong, take heart, and wait for the Lord.